Hi everybody, it is Friday. I was gonna say it's Friday morning, but it's not really. It's five to 12 on Friday. So it's Friday lunchtime, pretty much. Um, I thought I'd try doing a vlog style video today. I asked on my last video, at the end of my last video, if you guys wanted to see a vlog style video and quite a few people in the comments said yeah. I've not really filmed a vlog style video before. So you'll have to forgive me if the editing is not great because I don't really know how to edit it. It's going to be quite choppy. So I'll give it a go. I also don't really know how interesting today is going to be. I'm not really sure why I picked today. I just thought I'd pick up the camera. Well, I say the camera on my phone and give it a go. So far today, I've not really done anything. It's been a bit of a slow start. I think I've taken photographs of about 20 items everything's every day is quite a slow start at the minute i'm still taking things quite slowly um sorry if you can hear that noise the dogs have decided now as soon as i start to film that they want to play so we'll just have to deal with that um because they won't stop if i tell them to um yeah every day is quite a slow start at the minute every day is pretty slow at the minute i'm still getting used to life post-surgery um still getting used to having a shunt life has changed a lot and still getting used to being partially sighted um which does seem to just be getting worse and worse day by day unfortunately um there is a real possibility that come Christmas I am going to be completely blind which is uh, quite difficult to get my head around to wrap my head around um yeah there's not really much else to say about that without getting too upset and I don't really want to don't really want to get too upset on camera about it because yeah it is what it is and there's nothing that can be done about it unfortunately um my optic nerves are damaged and it's not due to pressure anymore because the shunt has drained or the fluid is it's draining the fluid that is in my head and around my eyes so but yeah anyway that's a really gloomy start that's a really negative start to a video so we are going to chop that now we are stopping there that it is what it is um yesterday i spent all day in bed I think I may have overdone it a little bit over the past few days. It is my son's first full day at school today. He started on Tuesday and he started on like half days. And today is his first full day. It is lunchtime. Like like I said, it's like 5 to 12. Um, and yeah, it's, the house is quiet. It's his first full day. Um, hi. Hi. The dog wants to go up. Here she is. <laughs> this is Bear. Hi. Her dad's just gone out. So she, she hates it when dad goes out. She stands and stares at the window and cries because she's a baby. You're a baby. She's six months old now. Or just under six months old now, I think. I don't I can't remember the last time I showed her in a video. See, she's crying because dad's gone out. Oh, and here's Kia because she's jealous. Because if one's up here, the other has to be up here. Hi. Hi. And they are best of friends. But they are so jealous of each other. Aren't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You just, oh, you're, you're giving her kisses. Okay, thank you. That's lovely. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I showed there. In a video i think the last time i showed her in a video she had floppy ears as you can see now she no longer has floppy ears she has massive ears look at her massive ears she's waiting for, she's looking out the window she's waiting for her dad to come home he's just nipped into town to get some things and she hates it when he leaves they're best friends aren't you you're best friends with dad yes you are but yeah today is very much going to be a work day like I said, I had a bed day yesterday. Um, 
I managed to get nine things listed from bed because I already had the photos taken. I was just exhausted yesterday, so I pretty much spent the day. Do you mind? <laughs> I pretty much spent the day doing absolutely nothing and napping. Um, but I'll have days like that and that's absolutely fine. So yeah, I'm going to get some listing done. I photographed between 15 and 20 items, I think, this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, get as much done as I can. Try and get those 15 to 20 items listed today, I think. And that'll probably be it. I don't think I've got much more to do. I think the post was done yesterday, so I won't need to do post today. I'm not going to the post office at the minute. My fiancé is going to the post office for me. Um, I will need to start going to back to the post office soon. Because he's not going to be off work forever. Um, but yeah, post will be done tomorrow. Um, I will show you at some point today what I bought from the charity shop. Not yesterday, but the day before. Um, I ventured into the charity shop for the first time in a couple of months, I think it was. It was terrifying, but I did it. And I felt really proud of myself afterwards. So yeah, I will show you at some point the few things that I picked up. Not a lot, but that's what I listed yesterday. I got them listed pretty much straight away. It was it was exciting to have uh, been able to pick my own stock because the only thing I've really been listing is wholesale stuff, which don't get me wrong, has been selling through really, really well. But it's just not as exciting when you don't pick it yourself. So that was fun. It was fun to get things listed. Um to have picked it myself and list it so i'll show you what i bought it's not it's not a lot but a little mini haul which would be nice and yeah i might show you what i'm listing but at the same time i've already uh i've already shown you at some point because that is all wholesale stuff that i'm listing today so there might not be any point in showing you what i'm listing if you've already seen like the wholesale videos because you will have like hair in my mouth you will have already seen it at some point, so there might not be any point in sharing that. But yeah, that's about it for now, and I'll keep you updated during the day with what I get up to. It is now half past one. I've been listing. My hair's gone all skewy. Um, I've been drafting for the past hour and a half. And I've done like five or six drafts. I've been going like a snail. <laughs> Proper snail's pace. I am tired. Um, I've just been given some lunch. My lovely fiancé has just made me some lunch. I've got... I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you. Um, I've got... It's like a wrap. Like a toasted wrap. Usually I have it with ham and cheese. Um, we've run out of ham. So I've got it for some bacon. Um, I'm trying to cut down salt. So I've not been eating very much bacon. Um, kind of cutting down my sodium intake. Sorry, I'm wobbling. You're, uh, I have the iron board set up in front of me because it's where I measure. I kind of use it as a makeshift desk when I'm sat on the chair. Um, yeah, it's wobbling a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got a proper tired, tired brain today. Um, yeah, cutting down sodium because it's meant to help with symptoms of what I have. Um, which is, if you're not aware, if you've not watched my videos before, is something called IIH, which is intracranial, idiopathic intracranial hyper hypertension, which is excess fluid um, around your brain. And apparently eating a lot of sodium can actually cause that to build up a little bit more like from, it doesn't obviously cause it to ha like cause it to happen, but it can make your symptoms a little bit worse. So I've been trying to cut down sodium a little bit. Oh, that's really interesting, riveting content. 
Um, but yeah, so I've not had bacon. Not been eating bacon that much. Um, not that I really ate bacon that much anyway, but yeah, whatever. So I've got a bacon and cheese toasted wrap. The ham and cheese toasted wraps are like, they've become my obsession. I, since I had COVID in June, I had it at the beginning of June, the first time that I was in hospital. Um, since then, my taste I've still struggled with tasting things. Um, it doesn't help that the medication that I'm on also alters your taste buds a little bit as well. Um, so there's some things I really struggle to take, like I really struggle with the flavour of things. Um, my taste buds are really weak. So I find that barbecue sauce is one thing that I can really taste. So I have barbecue sauce with like everything at the minute. It's ridiculous. I've also got a really healthy packet of uh, pickled onion monster munch because again it's a really strong flavour and I can taste it so I'm stopping for lunch after my really strenuous five drafts um hopefully I'll get a lot more done after lunch I've got a big Ikea bag of stuff that I need to get sorted hopefully like I say I'll get all of that done after lunch, I have been, whilst listening, it's not as if I've been doing anything to distract me either, I've not had the TV on, um, because I can't watch the TV and work anymore, I've not been having the TV on whilst working, because obviously I can't watch it out the corner of my eye anymore, I have to literally, if I want to watch TV, I have to be looking right at the TV, I can't just flick between the two, um, because of that loss of peripheral vision. I have to be focusing just on one thing now. Um, so yeah, I've not had anything distracting me from doing any work. I've just been really slow. I've been listening to Audible. Um, I'm listening to the Harry Potter books at the minute because they are my feel good. Um, I'm on the Prisoner of Azkaban. I've been listening to them whilst I was in hospital. The only problem with Audible is... I fall asleep when I'm listening to it. If I'm not doing anything at the same time, I listen to it while I work, but if I'm not doing anything at the same time as listening to it, then I'll fall asleep whilst listening to it. And then the next time I go to listen to it, I'm lost. I don't know where I am because I fell asleep whilst listening to it. So that's the downfall of Audible for me. Um, but yeah, I'm listening to the Harry Potter books at the minute because they just make me feel happy. Um, Obviously, I, gr I grew up loving Harry Potter. I'm also wearing... I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. And it just makes me feel happy. It's like a comfort thing for me. Um, I love the films. I love the books. So I'm listening to the books whilst I work at the moment. So that's like... It's not as if that really distracts me. I, I don't know why. I'm just working like a snail. I've got a proper brain fog today. So yeah, my plan is to eat my lunch and try and pick up the pace a little bit. Try and get a bit more work done because it's not been a very productive day so far. I mean, it's better than doing nothing, isn't it? I really need to stop being so hard on myself, but yeah. After lunch, I might have a little bit of a break from listing because like, I feel like I've hit a wall. And I might show you what I've bought from the charity shop. So yeah, I'll eat lunch and then I'll show you what I picked up from the charity shops. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you what I picked up from the charity shop the other day. Nothing massively exciting. Um, I think pretty much all of it is listed. There's a few things that I haven't listed just yet, but I'll quickly fly through. There's not very much here. Quickly fly through what we picked up. Um, my fiance picked some of these things up, it wasn't all me, I can't take the credit for all of it. Uh, first is this pair of women's Merrill shoes, I didn't spot these, these are actually, my fiance found them. Um, he's learning a little bit about shoes, he's actually going to be helping me out with eBay a little bit now that I can't do it all myself. Um, these are women's Merrill shoes. Um, we paid £4.50 for those and they should hopefully get, I mean, the, most of the ones that I've seen sold are in the States, 
these should hopefully get us about 25 i think i've listed them already i think these were some that i listed yesterday i think i've listed them for 20 actually i think i listed them for 22.99 um so around about 20 pounds from 450 so okay and um, what else have we got this i picked up because i absolutely love ginger jars myself and this one was just a, diff a bit of a different colour. Um, it would help if I had it the right way around so you could actually see it. Um, ginger jars you usually see in blue and white. And this one is obviously pink. There is no like maker's mark or anything on it, I don't think. Oh no, there is, but I can't see that at all. <laughs> um, my eyes can't see that very well. Um, there is a little bit of a chip on the bottom that I didn't really notice until i got it home and i did pay six pounds for it which i have overpaid a little bit but this was the first charity shop that i went into and i got really excited to be somewhere <laughs> and there was no price on it so we asked for the price and it's quite a large one um but yeah i paid six pounds and i'm probably only gonna get like maximum 20 pounds for it but like i said i got excited and it was a little bit of a different one wasn't it um this next item i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to lift it up was it's kind of i'm not decided whether i am keeping it or selling it yet it needs a nice clean try and lift it up it is a la cruze um it's a brown casserole dish it's heavy um i think the bottom it says it's a size d i think it's 27 or 28 centimeters wide um it's in good condition it's just a bit dirty um it's cast iron one now it it was expensive um it was 30 pounds now to purely to resell obviously that is quite a lot um these have gone for anything anywhere from like 50 pounds up to like a hundred pounds these have sold for depending on the size and the color now the only ones available in this exact size let me show you the inside of it um the inside is actually in quite good condition this will clean up quite nicely it's not like as far as i can see there's probably a couple of very very minor little chips but as far as i can see it's just a bit dirty and it should clean okay um, if you have any tips on cleaning this, please do let me know. I think I've heard that denture tablets are meant to be quite good to clean on. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. But it does have some, like, cooking dirt around it. I do need to give it a good scrub. Um, but, yeah, as far as I can see at the minute, the only one in this size listed is the Volcanic Orange. Um, there's two that are in really good condition that are listed for, like, 150 And then there's one or two that are in really bad condition like the bottom of it is like completely black um i think they're listed for about 50 or 60. now i'm really undecided because i've wanted a le creuse casserole pot a cast iron one for the longest time and to find one to find one for ourselves for 30 pound is a really good price but like oh i don't know i don't know i don't know whether to stick it on for like a hundred and take like literally no less than 100 and if it sells by christmas great really good profit if it doesn't i'm more than happy to keep it i don't know i put it on for a stupidly high price and just see if it sells that's brilliant we've made a really good profit if it doesn't sell i really don't care because i'm happy to keep it i might do that i'm really undecided yet because like i say i've wanted one for the longest time and to find one for 30 pounds for us it's, it's good it's a good price isn't it okay next is a bit of a fail uh this is by the brand mason cash and i thought for some reason i had it in my head that mason cash was a really good brand it's not so don't bother picking up mason cash it's, i mean it's a massive jerker but i'm probably only gonna get like i think i paid I don't think it's got the price on it anymore. I think the price is... Oh, no, it has got the price. It's paid £3.99. I think I'm probably going to get, like, £12.50 for it. So it's not awful, but for how big it is... Like, it's going to take, like, loads of... Uh, 
packaging, there we go, I couldn't get the word out then, especially for this handle, for like how much this handle sticks out, the packaging is going to be a right ball ache. Um, £12.50, it's not really worth it. But for some reason I got it in my head that it was worth it, but it's not. So yeah, if you see the brand Mason Cash, don't go, don't go running for it because it's just not worth it. Uh, next up is this little paperweight purely because it was £1.50 and I've never sold a paperweight before and I thought I'd learn about it. It gives me something to learn about. It's got these really pretty little flowers in. I think they're called canes in there. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, I've never sold a paperweight before. It's got no brand on it. It's got no sticker, no name. Um, I just wanted to learn about it. So yeah, I picked that up for, like I said, I think it was £1.50. I've taken the stickers off some of these because I've listed them already. Um, this was not my find. This was my fiancé and I cannot remember anything about it. Um, oh god, what did he say about this? Some kind of casing. Some kind of shell casing. Um, but obviously it's now a decorative piece. Um it'd be like a bud vase it could be used for couldn't it um i don't know we paid two pounds i think for that um not sure what we could get for it but he was the one that researched it and picked it up and said it was worth grabbing so just thought it was interesting and i like picking up brass so more brass this was just one pound and i thought it was really cute and i thought i could maybe get 10 pounds for it just a little candle holder a little lotus shaped one um it's not an amazing condition there's a few little dings inside it but for a pound i wasn't gonna leave it behind and then there's this pretty little wooden carved box this was three pound i just thought it was really sweet i saw a pretty it was a bit bigger than this wooden carved box 15 pounds a couple of months back um it was bigger than this but it wasn't as pretty as this so I think I've listed, I listed this last night for £15 as well, so hopefully I'll be able to get around about £15 for it. The next thing I bought was, purely because I couldn't leave it behind, um, I'll insert a picture of this because you can't really see it, um, a Harry Potter Marks and Spencers like vintage wall border, like wallpaper border. I got three of these, they were all a pound each. Um, I just couldn't leave them behind. Like I say, I'll insert a picture so you can see that because you can't really see it like that. Um, also, from the same shop, I got, I'll insert a picture of this as well, a vintage Thomas the Tank Engine one. This is by the brand Vimura. I think that's how you say it. And it's from 1998. And that's quite a cute one as well. That was also a pound. And also, yeah, there is a few more. The dogs just let themselves in. Um, this in the shop, I didn't realise it was a pumpkin, it's adorable, um, it's like a pumpkin ginger jar, I didn't realise it was a pumpkin because the lid was inside out like that and it was taped so I just thought it was kind of pumpkin shaped because of the ridges um, but then when I took the lid off when I got home I saw the little stalk and this one I was quite surprised at, comps on this is quite good, anywhere from like £25 to £50 um, I have gone high, sorry if you can hear my dogs pitter pattering up and down the kitchen, um, I've just given them some carrot as a treat and they're really, uh, they're really hyped up now, pitter and pattering around for more. Um, I have gone for £50 on it, purely because they have been, they have sold at around £50, so, and the time of year, like with us going into September, I've just gone for £50 just to see. Um, I've got offers on that and obviously I'll take a lot lower than £50 if someone offers it. I only paid £2.50 as well. Um, it's really cute. So I picked that up but like I said I didn't realise it was a pumpkin until I got it home and took the lid off. I'm running out of space now to put everything. Um, what have we got? Next up is this. We're nearly done now. There's not that much left. Um, this is it Satek, the brand. I've seen loads of the chess piece. Uh, the electronic chess sets before i picked up those up before sold those quite well this is a bridge set a electronic bridge set um this was six pound but it has gone for i think comps well, i got my fiance to look at comps in the shop because 
it was easier for him to look than me. Um, he can do it a lot quicker than I can with my eyesight. Um, I think he said comps were up to like £30-ish, like anywhere between 15 and 30 hopefully coming up to Christmas. £6 into hopefully around about 30 He said a lot of them were not in this country as well. So hopefully, hopefully around £30. We've got to test it and make sure it works first as well. Um, and then I think finally this last. Oh no, I think there's one more thing. Um, is this treffle? Is it treffle or treffle? Treffle, I think it's pronounced. Uh, I don't usually do jigsaws, but this is a three thousand piece jigsaw puzzle, and it was is it two pound or two pound fifty? Two pounds. So three thousand piece puzzle. I mean, I think it's pre-owned. I mean, it's moving around inside like it's in a bag. I might open it up and see. Um, like, the way it's moving is like it's in a bag, but they may have put it in a bag. Oh, it's been put back in a bag. Um, I mean, there's some damage to the box. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to do this myself. I mean, usually with jigsaws, I would do them myself, so... There is a bit of a risk there. I mean, somebody might, I might end up with a return if I get it back. If someone, basically, it might not be complete. I'm going to have to risk it for two pounds. I thought, well, I'm going to risk it and for a 3,000 piece, it's worth the risk of selling it. I'm going to state that it obviously it is complete, which might be quite bad of me. I don't know. Um... But if they do, if they can, if they, oh, I can't get my words out. If they finish it and it happens to not be complete, and obviously they send me a picture of it not being complete, then I will refund them in full, and that's my loss. Um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? But for two pounds for a three thousand piece coming into Q four, I, I thought I was, I thought I'm going to risk it. Usually, I'll only pick up new and sealed puzzles. I mean, I would have pick, picked up vintage puzzles previously but now i can't sit and do them myself i'm not gonna i'm not going to anymore um right last item i've showed you the borders so last item is this try and put get everything out of it is this copper bowl which i don't know anything about oh i'll just drop everything um it's just this copper pedestal bowl that's how that's how I've described it anyway, a pedestal bowl, like a, a fruit bowl, like bonbon dish thing. Um how do you how do you pronounce this? Is it clo clo cloisonne? I don't know how you pronounce it. Um it's really pretty. Um but I don't really know anything about it. It does have some damage inside, I don't know if you can see, but there is some there's a little bit is that a little bit there? My eyes can't really pick it up. Um, but I did notice when I was taking photos, there is some damage inside. Um, it's a little bit chipped. It's also a little bit damaged on the outside too. Um, but I thought it was really pretty and it was £3. So I think I've listed it for £16 with best offer. So we'll see. We'll see whether anybody grabs it at that price or not. I think that's everything. I think I picked up a few things for us as well, um, like some books for the kids to start, like Christmas, the start of Christmas shopping, because when you've got three kids, like you can never start too early. And we always buy them books for Christmas from the charity shops. Um, so we picked up like some Disney books and stuff like that. Um, and I picked up myself some like Harry Potter badges to go in my Harry Potter collection. But yeah, so it's good to go out like it was good to finally go back into some charity shops but it was really scary um we went on a non-market day market days here are monday friday and saturday um we went on was it wednesday i think it was wednesday um so yeah we went on a non-market day it was quiet but it was still quite frightening i didn't go on my own I don't think I'll ever be able to go on my own at this rate, but who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Right, now I've shown you all that. Most of it is listed actually, so I need to put some of it away. And then 
get on with listing <laughs> the rest of the stuff that I've photographed today. I've got lots of jeans. It's mainly jeans and jackets that I've listed from the first lot of Brit Deals wholesale that I've done. I'm not sure. I've made two orders now. Um, I've shown you, there's been two videos on my channel so far, which was technically one order, but I split it into two videos because it would have been a lot. Um, there is another video coming because I did a second order. Um, so I'm still dealing with the stuff from the first order that I did. I've done most of the underwear and stuff like that, but I'm now onto the bigger stuff, which is what I'm dealing with today. Um, like jeans and jackets. Um, some of that stuff was damaged. I think a lot of it was, I mean, it was listed as shelf pulls. Um, I think some of it was returns. Um, or it was just too damaged to sell. So yeah, some it some of it just have flaws. But I'm cracking on with that now. Some swimwear as well. I'm getting on with that. So yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with it a little bit later on. My little boy should be on his way back now. He should be back any minute. He's just had his first full day, so I'm really excited to hear about his first full day at school. And he had his first hot dinners as well. He took a lunchbox yesterday, which he was really excited to take his lunchbox. And I'm excited to hear how his uh, his first hot dinners went, see if he enjoyed it, see if he enjoyed having a hot dinner at school. You get excited about silly things as a parent, don't you? I can't wait for him to come home. I can't wait to hear about it. But I'll speak to you a little bit later on and let you know how I get on with listing. Okay, it's like probably about seven o'clock. I mean, we're gonna sign off for the day. Um, we just had dinner. I think I've got about nine, maybe 10 things live today and a few other things drafted. So I didn't do too bad. Um, I'm absolutely cream crackered. Um, yeah, <laughs> not really got much else to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was probably a little bit choppy, a little bit mismash, mishmash, mish mishmash. I don't know. Um. If you did enjoy it, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And let me know if you enjoyed it because I will continue to do little vlogs like this if you did. Um yeah. Feedback. I always welcome the feedback. And yeah, I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. As always. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye everybody. <laughs>